Good morning. Welcome to Winnipeg. Nothing like cold water first thing in the morning. <laughs> yeah. Now, uh, that's kind of misleading because I did have coffee already this morning. I've been up since about 5 o'clock. And uh, I made coffee as usual, except it was a lot weaker. And I had, uh, well, about that much, I guess. And it didn't seem to have an adverse effect on me, but I don't want to push it. I'm feeling a lot better, but let's not talk about my health in this episode. What I did have happen, though, this morning is I, I got an invite from uh, Peter at Ozscale Modeling to join a uh, another modeling group. Now, as a lot of you may re recall, I uh, have mentioned several times about Jim Steen's 1200 scale model ship club. Now, I'm a, I've been a member of that since pretty much since it started. And uh, uh, w what I have found is that lately I'm about the only one who's posting on it. And it seems to be dying. So, and, and I, I felt really bad about that. And, uh, and I'll, I'll keep posting on it, you know, for those of you who are listening, who are a member of, member of that club, and maybe you're watching, I'll keep posting until I notice that there is nobody else doing anything anymore. Then I'll quit. It doesn't cost me anything to post my videos on it. And, uh, but, but no, uh, Peter started this, uh, this up. You remember uh, yesterday I was mentioning uh, Peter at Oscale Modeling had suggested that I put the submarine in the case at a, at an angle into in a dive so it would fit. <clears throat> well, thinking about that, I got a couple of other comments from people uh, last night and they suggested I put the sub in the bathtub. <laughs> yeah, especially if there was water in the tub, it'd be it's more realistic, right? <laughs> the problem is I've got my bathtub full of junk now. Where am I going to put the junk? <laughs> Yeah, that's the sort of thing you do when you just take a shower in the shower room down in the basement. You, you don't use the bathtub upstairs. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's, we won't get into my personal hygiene here. <laughs> uh, but I did have a shower yesterday, in case you're worried, you know, so... Yeah, everything's fine. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, so... Uh, you know, those those of you who are sort of interested in model building, and uh, uh, maybe a lot of you are aware of Peter and his live shows and all the rest of it, you you might want to join up on this this group. Um, yeah, I think it's called something Oz Scale Modeling Hangout or something. I forgot now. I I'll, I I will have dubbed in the information on the screen by now. I'm sure. <laughs> okay, what are we going to do here today? Well, today is pizza day. I do have a piece of pizza thawing out that I took out of the freezer a while ago. But I'm... I don't know how much of it I'm actually going to bite into. Uh, it won't be that great big fork and piece that's in the kitchen thawing right now, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Boy, those were big pieces of pizza. And they were good. But... Uh, yeah, I, right now I don't have the appetite for it, and I don't think it would be a good idea to be scarfing down a whole bunch of cheese and pepperoni. <laughs> okay. Uh, I am thinking that in order to get this railing done, maybe the best thing for me to do is to uh, not try to video it. I think I've, I've done about everything I can do. Uh, maybe I, I, I was working on this, this piece here. It's, it's still exactly the way we left it. I was working on it yesterday, trying to get those, those, those curved, uh, fingers, uh, or, or railings rather to come around the side of the gun top and it just wasn't working out. Well, I didn't do any more on that last night. Uh, maybe what we'll do is we'll, we'll fix, we'll fix that. And, uh, and then I'm just going to continue on and try and get up to the bow. Uh, off camera and it might go a little faster uh, and, and just try and get our railing get our railing done and then I can get onto the rigging and and then we can drop down the the guns and there's a lot of them I mean it, this this is gonna look way different soon 
way different. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that's already made that, like I mentioned yesterday, it just has to be dropped down. So I, I think that's what I'm going to do here. Uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll try and recompose and get you in a little closer here and we'll, we'll just see if we can't get this, this one railing at least adhered into place. Uh, I'm beating this to death again, aren't I? Uh, I don't have any other news. Oh, I did, I did, uh, uh, see our friends, uh, Don and Bridget come across the bridge and uh, I'll show it later. And, and the bridge must be really slippery. Uh, they, yeah, Bridget was hanging onto the railing. And I noticed someone else uh, in, er, earlier coming across it. And they, they were trudging along. And then all of a sudden they lost their balance, so to speak. I thought they were going to fall down. So there must be a real icy patch right at the end of the bridge there. I think there was last year too. Uh, there was no sunrise. And no sunrise. It was just completely gray. Anyway, you'll, you'll see it later, maybe. Because if I don't put in the sunrise, this, this video is going to be even shorter than it probably already is. Uh, okay. Let's recompose. Okay, I've made a couple of changes from yesterday. Actually, three changes. I've, I've bent those rails a, a little bit less sharp. I, I'm still wondering if maybe it's not going to work. We'll, we'll give it a try here. Okay, this is not going to fall off the edge. I, I think we're going to be able to get it this time. Another thing I did was I've changed my lighting a little bit. And uh, so it should be a little brighter. I was kind of disappointed in yesterday's video, to be honest with you. Okay, you now I have also changed the holder down. If you remember last time, I was placing it on the top and it was blocking your vision. I didn't realize that. So let's just gently put it down. I guess maybe being as that we're going to be working on this end first, maybe we should uh, I'll put it a little bit closer here. Okay, now it's it's not pressing down very hard, but it's pressing down enough that when I, see I'm not ready for this yet, get something to just sort of see if I can very gently poke this bottom stanchion down into the crack. Let me let me check. Can you see that? Uh, well, not not really clear. I should maybe have the macro lens on. Okay, it is it is pretty much in the right spot there. I'd like to be able to bring the bring it out right there. Now that that actually looks pretty good. Unless the whole thing could possibly be moved in. Now, I'm, right now I'm grabbing the base of the holder downer, which is on the green cloth, and I'm going to try and slide it in just, just a little bit, because the railing appeared to be sort of leaning out. Now this just doesn't seem to be... Sorry about my gimpy finger. Let's get this in under the... tucked in right there like that. Now, all right, let, let's try this again. Let's, uh, get that bottom rail glued down there. Now you'd think the smell of the curing agent we put on yesterday would activate this, but it might be too dry. Okay, now that should actually hold it in place. Get my curing agent going here. I'm trying not to put as much on as I did yesterday, but it's pretty hard to not put a lot of this on. It just it just wicks all over the place. And and fortunately, when it dries, it, it doesn't leave any stain on the uh in that case in this case the deck tan. So we'll we'll just wait a few minutes now and let that cure.
Okay, I'm guessing about five minutes has passed here now. And uh, we're going to want to try and pull this back. I'm going to rest my hand on the on this thing here and then just... Well, that's not working. Ah, uh, this, this is slumping over. Why am I having such a hard time with this one? I wonder if I should be using two holder downers. It's it's almost like the the CA here has not cured completely cured yet. In fact, it, I'm, the way I'm looking at it now, when I'm moving this and I'm seeing the way the the light is changing, I would say offhand it has not cured. So what I, what I'm going to try to do here is. Uh, First, let's see if we can push this back into place. I think what I'm going to do is see if I can't put another holder downer right here. Um, yeah, just give me a few minutes here. Now, you might recall about two, three years ago, I made a whole bunch of these holder downers. I got to be careful not to bump the other one. By a whole bunch, I think I made about six of them. Just put a little pressure on that. And that way, I should be able to push that in from the back. Oh, easy, easy does it, Ron. Easy does it. Go very slowly and watch what you're doing. Okay, I think it's pretty much back. Now we're going to... Uh, oh, I bumped it with my watch. Can you believe it? Well, fortunately, it didn't seem to do any damage. Oh! Run! Okay, we're back. I think we're back better than we were before. So I'm just going to re-re-glue here. What's happening is I'm I'm bumping the other holder downer with my with my left arm. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna take my watch off. Okay. At least now I'll be able to feel it if I'm coming up against the uh, the holder downer. Oh. Maybe I should come in from this side. I just didn't want to risk having it run down the the uh, the outside of the uh, the hull. Okay. Now, if we can get all of that to cure. It looks it looks pretty wet. The, the bottom rail looks wet to me all the way along. We'll just give it one more right here. Okay. Now we'll do the curing agent thing.
Okay. Now I'm going to give it more than than uh, five minutes this time. Maybe now would be a good time to check the bridge. I can just hear the conversation. Well, almost. Or I can imagine the conversation. Let's put it that way. Don, this bridge is going to be the death of me yet. When are we going to stop this nonsense? <laughs> well, if they keep going all winter, I'm going to have to get on my e-bike again next spring and go out and congratulate them. And I will, all being well. Okay, once again, it is just a coincidence that it is noon. Oh, I am just having no luck here. Good thing I didn't break it. I think I'd have cried. Okay. Now, yeah, I guess about an hour has passed here since I uh, glued that up. So uh, it took quite a while to edit everything out. I was messing around with putting enlargements of the scene. Superimposing them. Just sort of an experiment. I like to do stuff like that. Okay, I think I think this is going to be okay here. Um, yeah, the railings and the railings secured. Um, yeah, you know what time it is, right? Now, once again, just a coincidence. It's that time. off this end here and we'll save the rest for some other time. Now if you think the pizza is cutting like it's cold, because it is. Now I, I actually like cold pizza. be getting better because this actually tastes like more but we're gonna save this mm. and I did too as I'm speaking to you right now it's back in the fridge okay how many times haven't I said I'm gonna do the rest of the railing off camera and then I just can't help myself I have to push record. <laughs> anyway, I got a phone call just a few minutes ago. Somebody wants to come over and have coffee with me at 2 o'clock. So I, I'm going to wind her up here. And uh, I guess uh, that's about it. So thanks for watching, everybody. And all being well, we're going to see you tomorrow. <laughs>